Hey, my name's Adam, and I was in the United States Army as a Green Beret. I always thought traumatic brain injury specifically revolved around losing consciousness, getting knocked out, that, that sort of concussive level of injury. I, I never actually understood the amount of possibilities that could bring about what we would consider traumatic brain injury or TBI from breaching, shooting Carl Gustav rounds, being a tanker. But some of the biggest problems I had was short-term memory. I know that I had to take actions the next day. I would try and remind myself the night before, and then the next morning I'd wake up and I wouldn't remember any of those actions that I had to take that day, unless I, I wrote down notes. If I wasn't very disciplined about taking notes, then I would literally forget the entire day of action that I had to take when I woke up. Another big piece was irritability and moodiness. When you live in constant pain, when you're constantly forgetting stuff, when you're constantly trying to just overcome what has become the new norm, you don't realize just how much of an asshole you become. And you don't think you're being an asshole, but everybody around you experiences it, especially the ones you love the most, because you trust them and you expect them not to run away. And in reality, they, they're the ones that take the run of that, you know, that emotional disconnect that, we, that a lot of us have going through this, this particular process. The Texas Valor Project, TVP. And the guys that founded the Texas Valor Project founded it because they believed so much in what was happening here at the Brain Resiliency Clinic and an organization, another nonprofit organization called Defenders of Freedom. And Defenders of Freedom and TVP work hand in hand in order to raise money and bring guys into this space. For me, I've had a headache since I was 27 years old, 24 seven, and it's never gone away. I've never had a moment of a headache being gone. When I got here with that focus thinking brain health, brain health, I didn't realize that they were gonna do so much with regards to overall physical wellness. Friday of last week at the first week of training, or treatment, there was like a four hour period when I didn't have a headache. That was the moment that I realized that there was true legitimate hope that I didn't have to live the rest of my life trying to fight this constant fucking battle. And then to add to that, waking up after sleeping for seven full hours and not having had that experience in years, being able to move, bend, squat, things that I used to be able to do and not just suffer through the pain. From the very first moment that you walk through the doors, it is smiling faces and warm hugs. It's shit talking and laughter. When you come here, this is, this is, this is about having fun. This is about getting work done, but it's about having fun. They want you to be better and they take it as a personal mission to make certain that you get personalized treatment, personalized care. This is not a one size fits all uh, recovery program or treatment program. This, this, this is very specifically based on exactly what your problems are. If you're listening to this, or if you've made it this far in whatever you're watching, and you're a veteran, especially someone who has been blown up, suffers from traumatic brain injury, knows they suffer from TBI, or even questions that they suffer from TBI, this message is for you. I need you and want you to understand that at some point you reach the limit of your own personal expertise on how to cope and mitigate whatever has become the new norm in your life. I want you to understand that that new norm doesn't have to be that way. There's a statement that a lot of us have heard before and it's, are you okay with being okay? You're not okay with being okay. Being okay is always subnominal for how we perform in our life. I don't wanna be okay with being okay ever fucking again. So if you're watching this and there's a question, it's time to ask for help. It's time to reach out and let someone know that you want help. It's not weakness to ask for help and to acknowledge that you've reached the limit of your capability. Okay, being okay doesn't have to be the norm. Pain, not normal. Loss of memory, not normal. If you think that your responsibility is to carry the pain or the weight of the world on your shoulders for your family, your community, your friends, whatever that looks like, I'm telling you, you're wrong. All it does is become a disservice to them because you can't be the best version of yourself. If you wanna be the best version of yourself, ask for help.